Peace and blessings, gang. I hope everybody is doing well today. Shout out to all of my members. I love you guys so, so much. Shout out to my gang for your endless support um, of all of my um, content and my products, my website from over there to Patreon and back again around here. I just really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for continuing to order uh, my Oracle decks. You guys have really been turning it up, especially with my new deck that is on pre-sale, Mystic Love. Ooh. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Mystic love. Um, I really appreciate that. And you guys have also been ordering my old, my not my old, my my very first love, my Mama Magical Oracle deck as well, because it's very complimentary to the Mystic love. I have a few Mama Magical Oracle decks left. Um, I encourage you guys to go over to the website because once they're out, I'm not sure when they're going to come back. So that's just something I want to throw out there. So thank you guys so much. I love you. Shout out to my gang and shout out to my new members so, so much. Um, big shout out to you, guys, to you guys. Definitely feel free to learn more about me and my website at MagicalFlowersTarot.com. Please feel free to comment in the comments below as long as they are nice <laughs> and as you're requesting your comments there. So I look forward to... Just give you guys much, much, much more of me this um, year of 2023. So this is another requested reading per usual. Y'all want to know about Miss Lotto, child. Okay, so supposedly she was at Coachella. She was just throwing shots and taking disses left and right. Uh, well, sending disses out, excuse me, left and right. Y'all want to know what is up with Lotto, with her energy? Was she talking about Nicki Minaj? What is her energy with Ice Spice? Y'all just want to know. So let's jump into this real quick. We're going to start off with Mama Magical Oracle deck. We're just going to let the cards fall. And see what the ancestors have to say. See what spirit has to say about this energy. So y'all already know how I do. I'm going to tap into um, Lotto's energy. Lotto, Lotto, Lotto. Lotto, Lotto, Lotto. So let's see what spirit got to say. Child, y'all think that she was talking about them? Was it subliminal? Was it direct? Y'all let me know down in the comments, child. But I told y'all in my last um, reading about the rap girls in the industry, the one that I did a couple of months ago, that the girls are going to start getting direct soon. It's going to start really, uh, <laughs> also she and her glow alignment. So, ooh, we got a timeline, y'all. Secrets. Children. Mm. So, <laughs> the girls are about to start playing dirty. This is what Spirit is telling me. They're going to start calling out children, uh, making little subliminals about parenting. Um, I'm, I'm just feeling y'all. I'll never claim to always be right, but just be on the lookout because we definitely have a timeline of weak stuff is about to get real direct and nasty. We got a yes for confirmation. As yes, she was talking about them. Yes, the subliminal, the subliminals were direct, indirect, but they were direct. But she is definitely in her glow right now. She's feeling herself with that alignment card and secret. So it's like she got a few bullets in it. She got a few bullets in the chambers that she might start being very vocal about. Come on, ancestors. Come on, speak through watching, celebration. So like I said, she's definitely feeling herself. And then we have the watching card. So I see you, boo. They watching each other. But I told y'all in the last reading that I did the other day that they are watching each other. They're looking at each other's page. They're reading the uh, fans' comments. They are watching. They are they are literally waiting for each other to clap back and respond to the stuff that they say to each other. So we got weeks and years. So that is two timelines, y'all. And then we have magic at the bottom of the deck. So, hmm. Let's jump over to the tarot and see if we can get some more details. So, Ms. Lotto said, I'm going to turn the heat up. I don't care what you think about me. You say stuff about me. I'm going to say stuff about you and vice versa because they all talking shit about each other. So, I mean, hey, I guess they is playing fair, right? Lotto, 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 Lotto. They continue to show me more of her energy. Her most present and kind of energy. <laughs> she gonna continue to speak her mind, talk her shit. Somebody hurt Lotto, though. I feel like she got a little betrayal on her, especially with that three of swords. Somebody, she feel like somebody definitely stabbed her in the back Um, and it re as it relates to music careers and opportunities and networking. That's what Three of Pentacles talks about. So Lotto, is some, for some reason, she is feeling played. 
Um, mm. She was at a standstill at first with her comments, but she is definitely not a wands reverse next to the hangman. She is definitely getting ready to start speaking her mind. That girl is feeling some type of way, and the energy is strong. Ten of Pentacles talks about trying to knock somebody's crown off. Um, trying to end some try she's trying to end some careers. Now, whether y'all think that she can do that or not, it's about what she thinks she can do, what she's telling her mind and what her goal and her objective is. So she does not want to um she doesn't want to fade out in the career in this music industry in her career. She wants to keep going. Um, we're talking about Wheel of Fortune, Fortune. So this is definitely speaking about Lotto's energy. Y'all know <laughs> y'all know we all think of Lotto, Lottery, Fortune, Spin the Wheel, Casino, all of that. So this is definitely her. And like I said, I feel like she is on the up and up and in her own lane, of course, but she feels definitely played and betrayed. Two of Wands reverse, separating from someone. Mm. Yeah, she ain't finna slow down. Just like I thought she was. I knew she wasn't gonna slow down. Mm, let's just sorry, y'all. These cards getting stuck. Yeah, she's gonna keep delivering. She's not finna slow down. And she got some beef with somebody. That's what that three of swords reverse talked about. Show us her energy towards ice spice. How does how does she truly feel towards Ice Spice? What is her energy? What is her spirit? Let's see, y'all. Uh, what is her energy? Ten of Pen mm, That's what she's trying to end. Look at these cards. Mm, same cards, y'all. <laughs> she is trying to end her. Mm. In her mind, she said, let me get you the fuck up out of here. The magician and the ten of wands reverse talks all about that. She ain't got no patience. She is running out of time. She is annoyed with that Ice Spice girl. She's like, I've been putting in work longer than you, ten of pentacles. Mm, she ain't slowing down. It's the same cards. And eight of wands is the bottom, at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, she's not slowing down. <laughs> she is not slowing down. Let me pull a couple of more, y'all. Mm-mm. I'm going to just take these two because my cards is getting stuck. Period. She's not slowing down. The Chariot and the King of Wands. She said, bitch, I'm coming for you. I got my eye on you. I don't give a fuck who you call yourself trying to team up with. I'm still going to come for your neck too. So, um, I feel like it's a per it's kind of personal between the two of them for some reason. Maybe some behind the scenes shit. I don't know. So, what is Lotto's current energy towards Nicki Minaj? Do y'all think that Ice Spice is just like a casualty of war? What do y'all think about that? Do you think it's really personal? Mm, she ain't trying to end shit with Nicki neither. Mm, here you go, Lotto. <laughs> she go again, y'all. She is not trying. She... So this one, this um, what is um Lotto zodiac sign, y'all? Anyway, the wine talks about fire sign Sagittarius. I believe that is what Nicki Minaj is. She not she coming directly for her nine of cups. Her her disses was definitely directed towards Nicki Minaj at Coachella. She is not slowing down. Her mind has not changed. Eight of wands. Look at this. So she is coming for the girls. Five of Wands definitely talks about a lot of bigger argument, battles, conflicts, going back and forth, cut, um, bumping heads, disagreement. She is not feeling her. Her mind, Ace of Swords, has not changed. And she like, fuck it. I'm going to continue to talk my shit, and I'm going to come at whoever. Somebody put a battery in Lotto back. Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, she's still not fucking with her. But I already knew that, y'all. I can feel that energy. It's very, very hostile. Okay, so um, we're just going to act straight up about Coachella. So was her disses, her subliminals, were those directed towards Nicki Minaj? Mm, Ten of Pentacles. See how that keep coming out? Yeah, she was definitely coming for Nicki Minaj. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, she definitely was. She was coming at both of them. 
I Spice and Nicki Minaj sticks to source. So it's like Nicki, I don't know, it's like, not, uh, what's her name? Lotto. It's like she has a sore spot for Nicki Minaj. Very much on the defense mode, Nine of Wands. Very, very much, bitch, putting her, I'm putting my fucking foot down. Period. I don't care if you don't think I can rap as good as you. Maybe I'm, I can rap though. And I'm finna say how I feel. This is Lotto's energy. She was talking to the both of them. That wine's energy is there. A lot of hostility, y'all. So what is um, Lotto's energy towards her career? Not just in life, but towards her career. Mm, what's that? So... She ain't letting shit go. I'm going to tell you that much. Six of Cups lets us know that. She's not letting shit go. See how this child keep coming up? This Page of Cups. Sometimes it can talk about pettiness and immaturity. That's what it's telling me. But she is not letting shit up. Shit go. The Hermit talks about... Um, Sometimes Herman can be a Virgo, but she talks about isolating herself with certain people. See, Lotto, she got some betrayal type of energy around her. But as far as her career, she is definitely still emotionally invested. She is not letting go of what she set out to do. She definitely done had some heartbreaks and some revelations. She might be going through a breakup or something. That's coming up. That is coming towards me as well. But as far as her music, she's not letting up. She's still, look at all this water. She is still very emotionally and spiritually attached to her dreams and her music. And she's going to keep putting her foot on the gas. The tower reverse. Mm. I just hope that her, her career does not somehow shift. And um, I just hope that it's the foundation of her career, of her new shift in her career, especially with that hangman. So she's going, she's shifting. It's a change in her career. I'm just hoping it's not based off the foundation of conflict with other women because she does have talent. She's made it far, you know. So I just hope that that, um, her talent is, is, is will help to shine and pull her through and take her in the next level. But look at all this beef. I'm just hoping y'all. <laughs> I'm just hoping, like I said, that she's not just going to be known for her beef with, I Spice and Nicki Minaj. Because like I said, she was already... She's been here for a while. She's been doing her thing. So, I don't know, y'all. That'd be such a waste, child. Y'all let me know, though. Y'all know more than I do about them. So, we opened up with the ancestors. Let's close out for any final words. I don't know. I almost want to pull a love card on... Um, Lotto's love life. What y'all think? I think I am because I don't know. That just keeps coming towards me. So I'm going to conclude the reading with a quick love reading for her. Comp come on, fear. Speak. Competition. Then secrets come out already, but that's what I just said. She has a lot of hostility around her that's fueling her with all that wise energy. And I just hope that she don't let this be the foundation. It's what she's well known for. Look at that competitive energy. What she's well known for as it relates to her career. That what didn't I say something about children, y'all? Yes. Okay. So this is interesting to me. We're gonna see how this play out because y'all remember we had a timeline now. So level up, boss up promotion. Like I said, she ain't going nowhere. Let me go to the mystic love deck. I just want to see what falls out, y'all. Lotto, lotto, lotto. Lotto, lotto. Energy that's around her love life. This most current time. It's like she got some some anger, hurt, and betrayal on her. This is true love, traction, the perfect chemistry. Mm. So this is very interesting right here. And then we got children here. Healing is needed though. That's why I said I knew she. I knew it was something underneath that. Bad intentions, long term commitment. So it looks like when it comes to love, there's a lot of indecision here. There is almost like she's feeling trapped or something like that, like being pulled from two different directions. 
she's feeling love in her relationship or at least she's hoping for it this is true love attraction the perfect chemistry so there is something there but then it's like i'm looking at the root here healing and bad intentions long-term commitment earth sign who is the earth sign truth mutual feelings so i'm and then we got short term at the bottom of the deck so like i said indecision here a lot of back and forth it's a damn mess, child. That's what I will say. And I'm not trying to go deep into a love <laughs> reading for Lotto. But I knew it was something. There is some hurt there. Some needs to be healed. So, y'all, let me know what y'all feel down in the comments, y'all. Do y'all feel like Lotto is going to um really level up the card? She did get a level up card. How do y'all feel about this? Um, I can't wait to read y'all comments, gang, because y'all keep me up on this shit. So, until next time, peace, love, protection. I shame.